Good morning. It's Wednesday morning, August 26, 2020. I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and I'm happy to be able to share a few moments with you this morning and just sharing with you some truth from God's Word. I was thinking about God being glorified, and that's really important to God, that He be honored and lifted up and glorified to, uh, before man in this world. And I did a little word search on to him be glory and unto him be glory. And interestingly, as much as the Old Testament points to the glorification of God, that wording to him be glory and unto him be glory is never found in the Old Testament. It occurs about seven times, either to him be glory or unto him be glory in the New Testament, seven times. And often it speaks of glory and dominion. And glory is honor that God receives, being lifted up and exalted. And dominion speaks of his strength and power and might and control, his authority. And he desires in both of these ways that he be given glory, that he be recognized for his dominion in this world as well. Listen to a few of these verses in the New Testament that speak of glorifying God and lifting him up. Ephesians 5 says, And to him be glory in the church. Romans 8, 11, 36 says, For of him and through him and to him are all things to whom he be glory forever. Amen. And we read in 1 Peter 5, 11, To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. 2 Peter 3, 18, But grow in grace and in knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. To him be glory both now and forever. Amen. And then in Revelation chapter 1, verse 6, the Bible says, hath made us to be kings and priests unto God and his Father. Uh, to, to him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. And so there are many different portions and references in the New Testament that speak to this specifically. The Bible in the Psalms says, given to the Lord the glory due unto his name. He is worthy to be lifted up and praised and honored and glorified. And he ought to be given glory and his dominion, his power, his strength, his might, his authority ought to be recognized. And what that would say to us is, you know what? We have every reason to be humble before the Lord and we have every reason to be yielded to God because of his glory, because of his dominion. And compared to who we are, there just isn't any comparison. But he is worthy of our praise and honor, and he ought to be lifted up and glorified in the lives of his people day by day, in the way that we speak, in the way that we respond to people, in the way that we pray, in the way that we serve. He is worthy. Unto him be glory and honor and dominion, both now and forever. Amen. God bless you today.